guys, it's Casey from Crystalline Designs. Um, I am coming to you with a tutorial using some of my Panda Haul selected products. Um, Panda Haul contacted me earlier in the year and asked me if I would like to um, review some of their products on my channel. Um, and I said, of course. So this is a set of five different earrings using um, the three different earring kit kits that I got in my order. Um, I got a sea theme kit, a essential oil kit, and a Celtic kit. Um, they are featured in the unboxing video if you guys want to go back and refer to that. <clears throat> but these are some of the products from those kits. And so we're going to use them. I also have a coupon code for you guys. It is, um, well, actually I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you what it is because um, it is very complicated, but I will um, throw that up on the screen here and then put it in the description box below. It's a selection of letters. It'll save you 10% off of their website um, and it's good until like June of next year. Um, so be sure to check that out. Panda Hall is a crafting website. You can find a ton of crafting supplies and they are one of the cheapest wholesalers out there. Um, and so you can get really, really great deals for things. Like these kits were like $3. Um, so really, really great stuff on their website. I have a ton of stuff added to my own wish list. Um, so definitely go give them a check out and use that coupon code um, for 10% off of your order. Okay, so let's get started here. By the way, um, quick disclaimer, um, I had told you guys in a previous video that we were in the middle of moving, so I am in my new home filming in my new studio. It's not put together yet, but I do plan on coming back and showing you um, a vlog of the new house, the studio. It's going to be up before because I have a ton of work still to do in here, um, but stay tuned for that because that is to come. So let's get started. These are my five designs. I've already made one of each one and um, we will make the other on screen here. So I'm gonna push these ones up out of the way and then we get started on this first one. So this is the design of the first earring. This is out of the essential oils. If I can get it to come right. Sorry, you guys. So it's just a couple of bicones and a um, sun charm with Star David in the middle and a um, faceted round at the bottom. So we're going to put that together. <coughs> so first for the bottom bead, um, also we're doing simple loops on this one. Oh, oh, sorry you guys. Let me throw together some tools for you guys. So I have out my round nose pliers. Um, my flat nose pliers, my clippers. Um, I have out my crimping pliers, although we're not going to crimp. I just like the very small tip on these, so I went ahead and pulled those out. And another pair of chain nose pliers, so this is the premise of what you will need to put these together. So... Okay, so first you're going to need a head pin. Um, for the bottom dangle and it's this round um, faceted red bead and you're just going to bend your wire as close to your bead as possible like that we're going to trim off some excess and then roll a loop and like say we're just doing simple loops in this one also my findings are all stainless steel so they're a little bit harder to work with but can be done so there is our first little simple loop bead okay then Next, we're going to grab a head pin, 
or not an eye head pin, an eye pin, sorry you guys, an eye pin, and we're going to thread on one of these really pretty red bicones, and we're going to do the same thing. We are just going to bend it over as close as we can to the bead, and then cut off excess, and turn a simple loop. Okay, so there's our simple loop, which, sorry you guys, I kind of went off camera a little bit, or a lot, I should say. Okay, so another bead with a couple of simple loops. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. Um, I was trying to get a better angle on my camera because... It seemed like you couldn't really see what I was doing. So, okay, let's try this again. So we're going to take another eye pin, like that, and we're going to thread on our other really pretty bicone, and bend it over at a 90 degree angle as close as you can to the bead without breaking your bead. I nearly just broke mine. And then cut off your excess here. And then we're gonna turn a loop. I totally just made my whole loop crooked. So let me just straighten this out real quick. Okay, now let's try continuing to turn a loop. Okay, still crooked I see, but... Not my finest work, boy, sure, for sure. I also can't talk if you've noticed. Okay, and then if your loops are crooked, you can just put a pair of pliers on either side and turn your loop straight. So there is our other piece. That is what that one looks like, and we're going to just assemble this together. So, I have an ear wire and my little sun, sun charm and these two pieces, and it goes just like this. Okay, so we're just going to come in here. We're going to undo our loop on one. Actually, let me straighten that. So undo our loop there. Thread on another one and close our loop. Just make sure your loop is good and tight. Undo another loop. Thread on our next dangle. And then last loop. And we're going to thread it directly on to our charm. and close this loop up and then finally we will add our ear wire just like that and we have a beautiful pair of dangly earrings so that is from the essential oil kit and I'm gonna set these to the side and we'll start a new set So here's another one. The earring will look 
like this. Let me turn my term around. We got these really cute resin um, starfish charms, which I really like. And I had some of this appetite in my stash. So we are going to make this dingly earring. Okay, so first you're gonna need a ball head pin and we're gonna thread it through this little bead here. And again, we're just gonna do simple loops. So I'm gonna take this to the side and I'm gonna turn it over as close to the bead as I can get it. Cut off any excess, which there's not a lot on this one. So we're just gonna do a, a small nip. Okay, and then we shall roll a loop. Just like that. And make sure that your loop is all the way closed, which mine is not, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll forward a bit more. Just like that. So a ball head pin with a simple loop. Then we're gonna take a eye pin and I've got two little beads to put on either side of the eye pin. They're little um, silver rondelle beads here. And they look just like that. And we're gonna put it on the bottom and on the top of this bead and it's just gonna help us to um, build our loop and also add a little character to the piece. So just like that. And we're gonna bend it as close to the bead as we can. Cut off the excess. And we'll roll a loop. Just like that. And mine became a little bit twisted, so I'm just gonna twist it back. And there we have it. Now we're just gonna assemble. So we're going to put our ear wire on one side of this loop, or on one loop of this unit, I should say. Then we're gonna open the other side and thread on our little charm. And make sure that that bead doesn't come off in this part. And mine became a little distorted, so I'm going to kind of roll it back again. Another thing I like to use this for is to close up loops like this. Because it can get in there and you can put it in the little divots. So here is this earring. I really love this. This is one of my favorites. And I love the appetite beads because they remind me of the ocean and then you've got starfish. So we're going to set this aside as well. And on to the next one. So on this one, we're going to use our little chip beads that came in one. I've got two little rondelle spacers here and then 
um, some three little chip beads and an eye pin, an ear wire, and a charm. So this is our base charm right there. And before we even start this one, I'm actually just going to open it up and I'm going to put my charm on it because it's going to hang directly from that. Then I'll close it up just like that. Make sure it's all the way closed. Okay, then I'll thread on one of these little charms. By the way, if you see my hand, please forgive me. Um, I've got a new kitten and she is scratching my hand all the bits, scratching and biting it because uh, I play with her with this hand. So I've got little scratches and bites all over me, but I like to play with her. She, she's just a baby. And so she's very rambunctious. She has a lot of energy. How long now? I can't get a hold of this little bead. There we go. Okay, so thread on our little bead at the bottom. Then we're going to thread on our um, chip beads. I'm going to start with the bigger one at the bottom. And then I'll put on this one, I think. Oops, or I'll drop it. Okay, and then a third. There we go. Um. Just a second. Okay, there we go. And then I'll thread on this last little bead, I think. Oops. I have too long of nails right now, so I can't get a hold of anything. We've been sick here with bronchitis and pneumonia, and so I haven't been doing much of anything. Okay, and then we're just going to bend this over as close as we can to our bead. Just like that, at a 90 degree angle. And snip off the excess. And then roll a simple loop. Just like that. Okay. Actually, my loop is not closed on the way. There we go. So, we've got a simple loop. Somehow, my loop got all messed up. I'm going to clip just a tad of this more off. And then roll down more. Okay. There we go. Now we're just going to put an ear wire on it. Turn this on our ear wire. Now before we close up our ear wire, we want to make sure that this is going to hang correctly. And it will after I make an adjustment. So I'm going to close up my loop here. Okay. 
and then I need to turn so when it hangs like this it's hanging sideways so my charm is gonna hang sideways so I need to turn my loops or my bottom loop I should say the other way so I believe I want to go that way yes so one of your loops is going to have to hang towards the side like that, and one will hang forward. And I'm just going to turn this just a tad bit more. There we go. So that it hangs correctly. So there's that pair of earrings. Two more. These are a bit more difficult. Well, the last one is anyways. This one's not so much. Okay. This is our fourth one and it is just a starfish with two little spacer beads and this big shell charm. I thought that was really cute. So we're gonna make that. I've got an ear wire and dog hair, and I have, well, I guess I'm missing one. Oh no, there we go. Two of those little spacer rondelles, my one charm, my starfish, a um, eye pen here, and an ear wire, and we're just going to hang um, the eye pin directly to this charm, so we don't need any um, jump rings or anything. Okay, and actually, let me, this time I think I'm going to thread this on first. Oops. So I'm just trying to pick up this bead, because like say, I can't seem to get a hold of anything with my nails. Um, now we're going to do the starfish and I want it going through the bottom two and out the top right there if you guys can see that. And then we're going to put on the final spacer bead. I think we are anyways. Okay, put that on and then do another simple loop. So we're going to bend this over as close as we can at a 90 degree angle, cut off the excess. And just a tad there. And then we're going to roll a simple loop, just like this. Okay, simple loop. And now we're just going to assemble this. So I'm actually going to do the loop on the bottom first, I think. So we'll add that in and close our loop. And you want to make sure this is good and tight against there. And then we want to thread on our top, which we're going to have to switch our loops again. So I want this one to go this way and this top one to go sideways like that. Just like that, and I'm going to make sure my loop is closed. 
or I'm going to break my loop, one of the two. Okay, then we're going to thread on our ear wire. So we're just going to open this up and put it through our loop. And close the loop back. Couldn't get a hold of it there. Okay, and that is that pair of earrings. Okay, so I'm gonna set those to the side. And our final one. So this one's a little bit more complicated. It looks like this. I have a couple of dangly bits on um, a Celtic knot with some stainless steel chain. And I just think it's really, really cute. And I just had some of these amethyst nuggets. So I went ahead and added that. So the only part from the kit is actually this piece. The rest of this is from my own stash. But that's okay. It's good to mix your stash with, with beads that you get. So we're gonna have um, some jump rings, some um, spacer beads. Some um, links of chain. I have two little links of chain. And our little Celtic charm, my amethyst piece, and two of these little pretty cubes. So we're going to have two of those. So, um, oh, and I forgot one piece, actually, you guys. I need an eye pen. Give me just a second. So I'm going to grab an eye pen out. Just grab one of these ones. Oops. Okay. An eye pen. Okay. So cubes, um, amethyst piece, charm, two um, ball head pins, an eye pin, some spacers, some jump rings, some chain, and an air wire. That should be everything you need um, for this project. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and do our amethyst piece. And I did um, wire wrap this one. Um, just so I was positive that it was nice and tight. And I did put one of those spacer beads here at the top as well. So that is what we are going to do. Put one of those spacer beads on. And then I'm going to come in with my crimping pliers here. Use the very tip and bend it over the top at a 90 degree angle. And then I'm going to come back in, place my pliers in that bend, come up and over with my wire. Then I'm gonna rotate my pliers that way and come on around with this bit of wire. So you have a piece that looks like that. Then I'm gonna switch to the other hand because I am right-handed and I'm going to bend this wire around the base wire, just like that. And if it's giving you trouble going around, you can always squeeze the wire down like that and just continue until you run out of room. And like say, if it has trouble turning over, which mine does a little bit because of mine's stainless steel, then just go ahead and crimp it down like that. Just like this. And I'm going to cut off there because I'm pretty much on my spacer bead. And then I will cut off any excess at the back here. 
and then I'm going to tuck in any tail I have. Sometimes this can be difficult. You have to get the right angle on your little tail and try not to crack your bead at the same time. Okay, so then we are left with a wire wrapped loop. Okay, so that's one piece done. Then I'm going to do one of my little cubes. And I do believe I put spacers, yes, on the top of this one. And I did a simple loop on this one. So again, we're going to come in here and we're going to come as close to that bead as possible. Turn a 90 degree angle. Cut off our excess. And then we're going to roll a loop. Oops, sorry guys. Mine got kind of misshapen there. And just make sure it's tight if you can get a hold of it. Okay, so a little bead with a simple loop. Then we're going to do one on a nine pin. And then this one I'm going to put a spacer at the bottom and at the top of my cube. So it looks like this. And then we're going to roll a simple loop on this one. And actually, before I do that, this one is open, so I'm going to go ahead and close it up so it looks good. Okay, now we're going to take this and bend it at a 90 degree angle as close as you can to the bead. Cut off some excess. Ow! I bit my finger. See it made a little indent. And roll a loop. Just like that. Okay, now we're just gonna assemble this. So we've got our three different beads, and now we need our wire. So we're gonna assemble these two together, and this one on one. And so we're gonna put our longest wire on, one, on the purple, and our shortest wire on our little cubes, using some jump rings. Give me just a second, you guys, I'm blowing nose. Okay, so now it's all about assembling. Um, so I'm gonna attach my ear wire straight to this charm. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Thread my charm on, and this is a front and back charm, so it doesn't matter which way you go. They both look the same. You might be like me though and prefer one side to the other. And we're going to
to close up our ear wire again. Mine has separated a bit, so I'm just going to clench that back down. Just like that, we've got our little charm on there. And then I've got these jump rings here. I'm trying to get them separated. Okay. And first, we're going to open this one up and attach it to our bottom piece here. So thread our bottom one on and close this back up. Just like that. So we have those two pieces. We're going to grab a jump ring and thread on, or we think we're going to grab jump ring, thread on our little set of, of charms or cubes and then our little piece of chain. Now this is a stainless steel chain. It's a texture chain, it's really pretty, and it's one of my favorites. And then we're just going to close this up. And that clicking sound is great. It means you've got a nice tight close on it. So there's one side. Then we're gonna assemble this other side. We're gonna put on our, oops, or drop our tools. Um, we're going to put on our little dangly at the bottom and then our piece of chain. Close this up. Okay. Close that up. Then at the top, we have two jump rings here to make this go the right direction. So on my first jump ring, I am going to thread on my, I want to make these kind of opposite. So I'm going to thread on my long first and then my short. Like that, because on this earring, my short is first and then my long. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. It might help if I show it to you. <clears throat> on this one, my short is first and then my long. So on this one, I'm going to mirror it and put my long and then my short. And then I'm going to close this jump ring up. Okay. Take my other jump ring here, thread it on this, and then we're going to thread this on our charm in this little bottom hole here. And then close it up. And these are the earrings. I really, really like this pair. I think they're very, very cute. So that is how that will set. So this is one, let me set my pliers to the side. One pair of earrings. And actually, give me just a second guys, I'm gonna get a a card for you guys to show you. Okay, I'm back. So here are the earrings. I'll show you one at a time. There's that pair. I really like that pair. I think they're beautiful. One of my sea themed pairs. I love them too. 
my sun pair. Really, really nice. My shell pair using my chip beads. And my pair with the resin starfish. Um, I think these two are my favorites of the five. But um, let me know in the comments what is your favorite. Which one did you like the best? Um, so thank you guys for watching. If um, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for being a member of my channel. Um, hit that like um, button and go ahead and leave a comment about which one um, of these earrings is your favorite. So I hope you guys like everything. I'm going to put that coupon code for Panda Haul um, for 10% off of your order up on the screen again, as well as in the description box below. And definitely go give them a check out because you can get... Um, beading supplies for very, very cheap um, prices at, on their website. And I really love their website. I placed an $80 order last year with them. So, or maybe, no, earlier this year, sorry, um, during the summer. <clears throat> My, I, I feel like this year has flown by and I don't know what day or month or <laughs> what it is. So, okay, so that's everything and we will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!